Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to execute ADB commands with a nice graphical user interface. Now, Android Debug Bridge, or ADB for short, serves as a remote command prompt terminal for any Android device. What that boils down to is that you can send commands from a desktop over Wi-Fi or USB connections that will then be executed on your Android phone or tablet. A lot of these commands are very useful and can't be done on the phone without rooting it first. You can back up apps, relocate files, and even change display resolution to name a few. But the trouble here is that you have to know the exact commands if you want to use any of them, and a lot of people find using a command prompt to be a clunky experience because of that. Well, a new Windows program from developer Chris Labo will simplify the entire ADB experience by adding a nice GUI front end that allows you to execute almost any command with the click of a mouse. It's called ADB GUI, and it's an open source project that you can download for free. I have this page linked out at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks, so once you've made it this far, click the adbgui.rar link. From here, make sure to click the Download Now button, then head to your computer's download folder. After that, just extract all files from the archive, which is an RAR by the way, so I'd recommend using 7-zip for this part. From here, head to the ADB GUI folder, then launch the exe file to check it out. Now if you want to use this with your Android device at this point, you'll have to enable USB debugging under Developer Options and Settings. If you don't see a Developer Options entry, head to About Phone, then tap the Build Number entry 7 times in rapid succession. From there, just connect your phone to your PC with a USB data cable, then make sure you have the ADB drivers installed on your computer, which I have linked out at the full tutorial. Beyond that, using the program is very simple. This first tab has all of your standard commands, which include reboot options and the ability to connect to ADB over Wi-Fi. There's also a link to open a shell command window, which is the traditional ADB interface. Now beyond that, you've got the phone information tab, which gives you access to a ton of information about your phone in its current status. Over here on the right, you can even spoof the phone's MAC address, change the DPI value, and even alter the display resolution. And this makes it incredibly easy to do all this stuff. On this next tab, you can push and pull files. Click one of these buttons and it'll open a file browser window where you can just select a file to send over to your phone. Then finally, the App Backup tab does exactly what you would think. You can use this menu to install, uninstall, and even backup and restore apps from your phone or tablet. So it's a much easier way to use ADB on Windows, and with all the options that it has, you'll be able to execute almost any command with a simple mouse click. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!